Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking all things Tamagotchi Connection. And for those of you that maybe don't know, that is the Tamagotchi Connection that just re-released this year. We're calling it Tamagotchi Connection re-release or Tamagotchi Connection 2024. But you all have had a ton of questions for me. So I thought I would make a video today to address all your most burning questions right here, right now. So in case you missed it, I put out a post here on my community tab asking for all of your questions about this re-released Tamagotchi Connection. And I'm gonna answer all of them right now. And to start all of this out, we need to address the giant elephant in the room, okay? Tamagotchi Connection re-release was supposed to be a global release. So one of my number one most asked questions on this channel is, when is Tamagotchi Connection coming to the rest of EU? Thank you, Sandrox FG, for asking this question. Again, I hear this all the time. People wanna know when this is coming out in the rest of the EU. So the re-released Tamagotchi Connection is supposed to be a global release. We've already seen releases in Japan, in the US, Canada, Australia, and the UK, potentially some other areas that I have forgotten. And there are a number of countries within the EU that there have been zero news about. So I reached out to our friend at Tama Palace to try to learn some more information and see if there's any more details around the rest of the global releases. In case you don't know who Tama Palace is, now this is the absolute go-to website, the go-to blog that has all Tamagotchi news. So if you're looking for the latest news and I don't have it, this blog will have everything. I have been an avid reader for like six or more years now, and this is my go-to site where I get all of my Tamagotchi news. So if you have not checked out Tama Palace, I highly recommend you do now because there is so much good things on this website. It's one of my favorite to check out. I reached out to our friends at Tama Palace and asked what is going on with the release in the EU. And this is what they had to say. It's been very challenging answering questions about the European release of Tamagotchi Connection. I can totally understand what their sentiment. It has been impossible to try to find any information for you guys, but here's what we know so far. In the UK, the release has happened, so you can buy in, I think this store is called Smith's in the UK. And if I'm reading correctly, I think I read somewhere just this past weekend, it is September 2nd now, just this past weekend, the last couple of days, a release has happened in Ireland as well. Spain has announced plans to release Tamagotchi Connection, but they will not be getting the True Friends pack. They will just be getting the four individual US colors. And France has announced, unfortunately, that they will not be getting Tamagotchi Connection. So that is all the details we have at this time. Unfortunately, it is a global release. A global release doesn't mean that everything comes out on the same day. The different regions can release the Tamagotchi Connection as they see fit for their area. So even though, <laughs> even though you all have been waiting for so long now, we're gonna have to say that you'll have to wait a little bit longer. And as soon as I get some news, I will post for you guys. And also continue to follow Tama Palace because they'll have the latest up-to-date news if you are looking for a release in one of your regions. Next question is around the Tamagotchi Connection shells. RARX, I think, is that how do you say your name? Asked if they will come out with more shells. And I am really happy to say that Tara Batty from Bandai US has confirmed that the plan is to have seasonal release shells just like with our Tamagotchi original. So Tamagotchi original comes out every three months with new shells and the plan is to also have Tamagotchi connection re-release on the same schedule. 
Now they just announced the latest fall seasonal Tamagotchi original shells. So I've got my fingers crossed that they will be announcing some new shells for the Tamagotchi connection very soon. All right, the next bunch of questions, you guys are so many questions about the games. The best way to get gachi points, the best way to win the games, what's the easiest game. So we're gonna answer all of those right now. From Joe B. Livin, <laughs> I love some of your names, guys. Um, the best game for money grinding and your strategy to win. Okay, so for me, I am not super great at the games. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I don't always have the time or the patience, but I have gotten super, super good at this music note game. I go through this really quickly. I find it only takes me a minute or two. I can get all 100 music notes and that will get me 300 gachi points and full happiness. So now if you're at zero happiness or if you only have one happiness open, it will fill up your happiness if you get all 100 music notes. So I find that this is the best bang for your buck game because it does get you full happiness if you get all 100 of the music notes. It does take a little bit of time and practice to get really good at though. So that's my recommendation, but I think there are other games that are better for money. And if I'm remembering correctly, it's heading. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it, but uh, is it the heading or the running or sprint. There are other games that are better for grinding out points, but I find for me, this one is the best bang for my buck because I'm good at it and I can get through it very quickly. I hope that is a sufficient answer for your question. Ooh, um, next up. Do I have any tips or tricks to increase happiness fast? This is from Aloysius987. Thank you for your question. I do, okay. So for me, if I am busy during the day, I'm at work, I'm in meetings, I actually just feed my Tamagotchi connection a lot of snacks just to get through those times that I'm very busy. And then once I'm not busy, later in the day, in the evening, I will play games with it. I do like to play the music note game. I will go through that pretty quickly and that will help bring the Tamagotchi's weight back down. I would love to hear if you guys have better ways to increase happiness quickly, but I find feeding snacks when I'm not able to play games or playing a game that I'm really good at to get the happiness up very quick. Um, the, the question does continue, does ask if there are games that you can play without paying attention. I, I think I'm understanding where this question comes from. Previously on other Tamagotchis, there have been games where you just kind of smash a button and you can, if you smash the button fast enough, you can beat the game without paying much attention to it. There was a game like this on the Tamagotchi on, I think it was the surfing game. I really loved that because you could raise the happiness very quickly without having to put in too much effort or attention on your part. I have not found a game like that in this connection. I find I have to pay a lot of attention to all the games and none of them are super mindless. So unless there's a game I missed that you could do that with, let me know, comments below. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't found anything that is super easy to mindlessly play on this connection re-release. How the heck do you play hoops? Our next question from Emmy Gachi. Okay. I'm gonna show you that right now because hoops is not easy, not my favorite, but you have to wait until it's in the right spot and then you throw the ball and it will land in the hoop. It's not easy, not easy, definitely not my favorite game. Also, my cat is stomping on my computer. Avery baby, thank you. All right, next question from Florida Girl Talk asking about the flag game. Is it glitching? for anyone else on the new connections. They have the retro in the rainbow sky. Now I have the retro shell and I have no issues with the flag game. I don't find that it glitches. I actually have a lot of trouble with the bump game. And I thought that maybe that was glitching. I don't have any issues. I have definitely gotten to the round nine of the game and beaten it. 
So I don't think there's any issue with it, but if anyone else is having any issues with their fly game, please let me know in the comments below. Cause I have not, this is my first time hearing that there's been any issues with the flag game. This next question from just only one piece, how often do you have to change the batteries? I am finding probably once a month or so. That's what I'm getting out of my batteries right now. The demo battery I got, got about three weeks. Some people are seeing less time, some people are seeing more. And then afterwards I changed out for, I think it was a Duracell battery, which I got about a month on. And now, right now I'm running an Amazon battery and I'm gonna see how long that gets. A lot of controversy on around my battery video. Some of you yelling at me that I should not be using Amazon batteries because they're knockoffs and they're not good enough. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if um, potentially they are just as good as a Duracell or an Energizer. Okay, next couple questions are about just the gameplay in general. There is this thing called souvenirs. I'm gonna show you here in this menu that you can collect. Um, I'm gonna put a clip in here showing you how to get the souvenir, how you can buy the tickets to get the souvenir and then get the souvenir in your souvenir list. Woo, that is a lot of souvenir. Um, but there are collectibles within the Tamagotchi Connection called souvenirs. You get them from these travel tickets that you have to buy, they're fairly expensive and then you travel to a place and then you collect the item. It's just a fun little thing to get. This is why people are asking questions around um, grinding for gachi points because these tickets for the souvenirs can be very expensive. I think like a thousand gachi points per ticket and they randomly show up in the shop. So I'll show you that here. I've bought a ticket just so I could show you for this video. Um, that is how you acquire them and then PGP is also asking if there are any perks to donating more than a thousand gachi points to the king. Okay, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, the gachi king is a character on the Tamagotchi connection that's kind of been like a long-standing character. It looks like a golden egg. And in this, um, in this menu here, I'm gonna show you, you can donate gachi points to the king. And if you do, if you donate a thousand gachi points, this is where he's going to leave you a little lucky character that's gonna clean up after your Tamagotchi, which I think is a very funny little mechanic that this connection has. So what I am reading is that there is, it doesn't seem to be any benefit to giving him more than a thousand gachi points. And once you turn over to the next generation, it resets, so you're going to have to donate the thousand gachi points to the king again to get that little character to clean up after your Tamagotchi. Another gameplay question, my friend Denver asks, what happens if you connect them enough and they have four hearts filled? Do they do different things when you connect them? So the four hearts filled means that they are, they can be partners. And if you're a Tamagotchi, both of them are six years and older, they can get married and start to the next generation. So that's what the four hearts means there. Um, starting the next generation can happen a couple of different ways. It can happen through connecting several times and getting the four hearts. You can start a new generation by meeting the matchmaker, which I've made a whole video about the matchmaker. And those are the main ways to start the next generation. So there's several options to get the next generation, whether you have another connection to connect to or not. All right, the enemy 38 has a couple of questions for me. These weren't asked on my community tab, but they were asked on my vlog and I thought I would address them here because these are these are tough things that happen and things that people get hung up on when they're playing their Tamagotchi connection and there's not a lot of information out there. It's kind of like, it always felt like very word of mouth to me. It's something I struggled with when I got a connection for. So the question is around when they're happy and hungry hearts are full, but he only lets them play with them once in a while. 
So Tamagotchi Connection has this mechanic where if the weight of your Tamagotchi gets too low, you won't be allowed to play games with it because every time you play games, it loses weight. It can't get below a certain weight. So the Tamagotchi will actually like flat out refuse to play games with you if its weight is too low. <laughs> this tricked me up a lot when I first got my connection and I used to discipline it because it wouldn't let me play with it. I didn't know why it wouldn't do that. So my friend explained to me that it was actually because of the weight. So if your weight is too low and you can't play games, feed it snacks to fill up its, its happiness until you can get the weight back up and start playing games again. Don't discipline it because that will just make it mad. <laughs> okay, I'm also having issues figuring out when to praise and give him a timeout. I've only been able to sex successfully do this twice. Yes, I am there with you. The connection version four that I have experience with was, was very obvious when to praise it and when to discipline it. The, it would sulk and have like this like crying animation when it needed to be praised and it would just ask for attention when it didn't need it and that was when you would give it a timeout. This re-release I have such a hard time with. Here I'll demonstrate with video. If your character is looking at you and angry, put it in a timeout and if you do it right, it will cry. And then if it's not looking at you, praise it. And if it does this happy sunshine, it means you did it correctly. But this leads into the next question. Somebody, I cannot find the question now. Someone asked me like what the point of training is. And the point is it's gonna fill up that, that meter. And depending on how you take care of your Tamagotchi, you could get different characters. In this Tamagotchi Connection re-release, it seems that missing uh, a praise or a timeout will lead to a care mistake and the number of care mistakes will determine what character your Tamagotchi eventually evolves into. So it does lead into what type of character you will eventually get. So training is important if you're getting a lot of uh, the bad care characters. It's because you're missing out on these different training calls, either the timeout or the praise. Ah, this last question from random dude. Love the name. Um, should I get the Tamagotchi connection or the uni? I get this question a lot, so I wanted to address it here in this connection video because I cannot tell you which one to get. It depends on the style of gameplay you like. If you love the original Tamagotchi and that kind of gameplay, the Tamagotchi connection is just expanded. It's more, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it even though there are some things I'm still not very good at. I'm enjoying it a lot. I think it's a fun Tamagotchi. But the Tamagotchi Uni has a lot more features. The Wi-Fi brings a lot of added content to the Tamagotchi device. So if you are somebody who gets bored very easily or after playing with the same thing for a while, I would really recommend the Tamagotchi Uni. I am addressing that, that question here because why not? These are your burning connection questions. Everyone wants to know, should they get this Tamagotchi or that one? And the only person who can answer that question is you. I can give you some ideas, some thoughts to think about, but at the end of the day, what Tamagotchi you get is all up to you. And I'm not going to tell you which one, but this is a connection video. So like, obviously get the connection, duh. <laughs> All right, guys, I have talked for a while now, but hopefully my answers helped you get the most out of your Tamagotchi connection. And if not, if you have more questions below or if I said anything incorrectly, please correct me in the comments below. I will see you all there and I will see you in the next one. Bye.